Yo, what up everybody? Amir Rahim here, owner of Rappin' and Snackin', about to come at you with another video. This one being Beanie Siegel, uh, my entire collection of his. It's just his birthday, so I'm like, since I got everything out, let's go ahead and shoot a video for it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I'm gonna be dropping a lot more videos in the coming months, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Anyways, I'm gonna start first off with his vinyl albums. Um, the stuff I got on vinyl over the years. First off being his debut, Beanie Siegel's The Truth. A lot of people have probably heard uh, this album if they've heard of Beanie Siegel. Um, also, uh, a notable thing that I'll just throw out there uh, that I've noticed too is Kanye, some of his early earlier production that a lot of people may know of came on this album too, with the title track The Truth in particular. So, um, pretty dope album. And uh, let's keep it going. This was a 2000 release. Next up, we got Beanie Siegel's The Reason. Uh, this was his album that came out right after. And um, yeah, this is 2001, I believe. And right there, boom. Also picked that one up. And next up, we're going to get right into my other vinyl pickup of Beanie Siegel's, which is The Becoming. Uh, this one, unlike the others, which were just a year apart, this uh, was in 2005, so this solo release uh, came a little after. Uh, this is a lot of people's favorites. I'm, as far as the first three, they're all pretty consistent. I don't know which one I like the most. I mean, it might be this one, but it's really tough to call. But um, the Becoming right here. Boom, right there. Next up, we got The Solution. Beanie Siegel's vinyl album right here, The Solution. This is a 2007 release, if I recall. 2007, yes, yes. So, boom, right there, The Solution on vinyl. And then next up, we got State Property Releases. So, this is actually interesting. Um, so, this, like I said, said uh, The Becoming was 2005. Uh, that was the release of that album, and then 2001 was the reason, so there was like a four-year gap. In that four-year gap, he was still working. One of the things he was working on was State Property. Uh, this is the soundtrack. He also did the movie, and uh, he had another uh, State Property, which right here, Chain Gang Volume 2. But one thing that's probably going to make people be confused a little bit is I actually haven't heard this yet. Reason why I haven't heard this one yet is because I'm actually waiting to own the state property um, movie. Like, I just haven't ran across the DVD. Uh, I don't know if they dropped a VHS, but I haven't uh, ran into the DVD. And me, I'm just like, well, I want to watch the movie and then watch the soundtrack or the soundtrack right before I watch the movie. Like, super, like, OCD nerd shit. But anyways, I just haven't. And it's not like it's hard to find. I just haven't bought it. So maybe I'll buy it after this video. But State Property on vinyl right here. Uh, I've heard a couple songs on here, obviously, and I've seen a couple like scenes from the movie, but I haven't seen the movie in, in its entirety yet. But boom, right there. And then due to that, same thing with The Chain Gang Volume 2. I haven't listened to this yet either due to that fact um, that I haven't seen State Property 1. So I'm like, I'm going to listen to this, and I'm going to listen to this. So um, yeah, I can be a little patient. I've been holding out for a little while, but anyways... Got those two on vinyl as well. Next up, I'm going to get into my Beanie Siegel vinyl singles. Um, these are all generic singles. Um, so either the label sleeves or just like a sticker sleeve, which you'll see right here. First off being Beanie Siegel's track, uh, Beanie Mac Bitch. And uh, boom, right there. Still got the shrink on it, but it's open. Pop that one out. B-side on here is uh, So What You Saying. Beanie Mac Bitch is a dope one. Um, I like this track. Uh, Just Blaze produced it, if I recall. And I also like how he's inspired by um, Snoop's Murder Was the Case that they gave me on the chorus and throughout the song. So, boom, right there. And then, next up, another single from the Reason album. This is Think It's a Game. And um, the B side here is for my brother's featuring Daz, and uh, for my brothers, I actually prefer the B-side to the single in this case. And who was on the, I uh, think it's a game again. It was, uh, okay, Freeway, Lil Chris, and Hove, uh, Jay-Z. But honestly, I, I just prefer the B-side in this case. Anyways, boom, right there, Beanie Siegel. Next up, this is from his album, The Becoming. 
This is Don't Stop. This is produced by uh, the Neptunes, or maybe it was just Pharrell. Um, no, it's produced by Pharrell. Um, and then Snoop is also featured on this. This is a very Snoop-esque track. You can tell, like, just by the style of it, at least because he's on the chorus, it makes me feel like it's a Snoop track. And with Pharrell producing it, um, this came out, like, around the same time of, um, uh, Snoop's RNG album. So it reminds me a lot of that, just, like, the vibe of it. But Beanie Siegel is rapping on it, obviously. It's his track. And this only has Don't Stop on it. Boom. Next up, I got Beanie Siegel's. Okay, so this is, I think when it comes to Beanie Siegel's catalog, this is one of the songs that's probably most talked about, most referenced. A lot of people give this track praise. And for right reasons, this is Feel It In The Air. Um, I really, really, really like the single. I remember seeing the music video. I could just get goosebumps because of a lot of the lyrics in this song are... Um, Eye-opening, a lot have to do with betrayal, not trusting people, keeping your circle uh, tight. Uh, this is a song that a lot of people should definitely listen to if they haven't in a while. Or if you haven't heard Beanie Siegel's music and you want like a reason to listen to it, this will definitely put you on because this is a fantastic song. And it starts off becoming uh, that album on a strong note right there. So that's it for my Beanie Siegel vinyl. We're going to get right into the CDs right here. A lot of which are the same, um, but not all of them. We got Beanie Siegel's The Truth right here. Boom, boom, boom. Followed up with The Reason right there. I hope I hope I don't try and be too cool and drop all this shit now. We got The Becoming right there as well. And then next up, this is one that I didn't have on vinyl. This is, um, I don't even know if it dropped on vinyl or maybe it did. But um, anyways, we got Beanie Siegel still public enemy number one. Right there, boom, boom. Yeah, it's gonna fall. I'm just gonna chill for a sec. Um, next up, we got. Oh, and then it's funny because uh, still public enemy number one. It's got the classic Beanie Siegel uh, gif, or I want to call it a, a gif or jif, whatever you fools call it. But this is always the photo that you see of Beanie Siegel. Just anytime you see him, it's just the one that's that's always photoed. So boom. Um, next up, we got the solution. And then one that I didn't have on vinyl, and I'm not sure if it dropped on vinyl. However, Beanie Siegel's The Broad Street Bully on CD. Now, moving on to some more CDs that are in this pile over here. We got uh, Beanie Siegel and Freeway, The Rock Boys. So this is interesting because a lot of people know The Rock Boys uh, as being a Jay-Z song. And um, it's funny because, you know, Jay-Z is not on... Uh, this, however, you get Average Cat, which is a Jay-Z diss, and it's funny because I'll, I'll show a picture right now, Average Cat Jay-Z diss is in red, like, they're tr purposely trying to promote that song, like, to get everyone's attention, for them to buy the album, but Average Cat Jay-Z diss with two exclamation points in red font, where the rest of the track list is in black font, so, funny marketing technique, um, yeah, anyways, Moving on to the next stuff, like I had said, the state property and the chain gang. Haven't listened to these joints yet. I will. I need to get that DVD. I'm sure someone in the comment section is going to yell at me to get the DVD or something. I will. Promise. Uh, boom. And then, oh, here we go again. This is Beanie Mac, bitch. Um, this is... Um, got the Rockefeller joint on the back, just like the vinyl. It's got the Rockefeller promo. This is a sticker... Um, on top of the jewel case. So there you have it right there. Like I said, I love stuff like this. Like sometimes you get the insert, sometimes you get a sticker, sometimes you get some other shit. I just love, uh, you know, the different types of, um, marketing and the way that people roll out, uh, singles and artwork and all that stuff. So boom, the sticker right there. Lastly, I have two tapes, one of which is sealed. It's got the hype sticker on it. I'll Put a photo up here so you can see a little closer of the truth. And then up here is the reason. So I got these two tapes as well. Boom, boom. Um, That is all of my Beanie Siegel collection. You know what I mean? So I got all my CDs right here. I got my tapes. And then all my records right here. So, um, yeah, there you go. My Beanie Siegel collection in full. Going to add to it. Going to watch that state property, I promise. And uh, go ahead and let me know uh, your favorite thing here or if I'm missing anything that you think I should get a hold of. Uh, appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe, tell everyone, and uh, 
Stay posted. Peace.